Thank you. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Hello, internet. Hello and welcome to the Documentation and Developer User Experience Task Force meeting on Monday, the 12th of August, 2019. Um, I am Jessica and I am your unofficial host with a team of many, many wonderful people. You can follow along in the agenda document that is available on the GitHub repo at github.com slash IPFS slash docs. Yeah. All right. Um, so we had we had um, some there's there's some agenda, some notes. It looks like everybody's filled in their stuff, so I can get rid of the thing at the top. This is attendees at agenda items. Um, there's I I just want to say like this sort of like one of us has got to be like mean about this, so I guess I'll be the one to be mean at it. We had kind of some bandwidth issues last week. Um, one of them was a major one that was mine because I've been battling exterminators all week. That's getting slightly better. Um, we had some illnesses. Eric was at a conference Wednesday through Friday. We just have to be really careful because we're a small team and we can all very easily become single points of failure just to like, you know, if we know we're going to be somewhere or we're not feeling well and we have the ability before we check out, you know, obviously it's, not not okay to be sick but let's let's just try really hard to make sure that we're not blocking each other on things because i think we had a little bit of that this this last week and it was sort of a pain in the ass for some of us um so and and certainly on my part i apologize for that because somebody was just kind of coming in at random and randomly spraying my home for bugs um, and i will try to be a little bit more organized this week um Oh, Eric, you're bringing your kid to school on, oh, I thought you, to work. I thought you had an intern, your kid. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> okay, so Eric, does that mean, does that just means you'll miss Thursday's meeting? I'm going to miss Thursday. Oh, wow. All right. Wait, like school, because school? like a like, university and I have to drive there, you know, and deliver the kid. And it, it's a poorly you? worded bullet point. I shall rephrase it. Why it sounds are like you I'm taking bringing a four-year-old to, to university? You can't have a kid in college. She's a twin, and the following week I'm bringing another one. Oh my gosh! Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, congratulations to you and to them on a major milestone. That's that's so cool. That's so cool. Um. That is about it. Somebody is unmuted and is like making noises. So if that's you, don't do that. Maybe that's you, Molly. I don't know. Oh, you're muted now. So maybe that was you. All right, sweet. All right. Um, let's just dive into stuff. Are we good to go? Um, why yeah, I, actually... just, I just want to call out that I have one thing. I, I'm on the end of the agenda, but I have one thing that really needs to be a group discussion. So let's make sure we get to that one, please. Let's, let's do that first. Go for it, Terry. Sure. So the website, um, the website PR. I'm just gonna see if I can drag this guy over for you. So that I updated the um, the website PR to have different wording based on the feedback that we got here. There's just a little bit of formatting that I would do if we were going to merge this, but I just wanted to chat about Chris's response, which was that we should. Basically, the way I read it was that we should not merge this at all because the quiz might then go and sort of remove the work that I've done and move the links to other places, which if the quiz was going in tomorrow and you were dealing with the footer, then absolutely fine. And I absolutely appreciate the heads up on anything where it's like, oh, Terry, you shouldn't spin your wheels on this thing because it will get destroyed. But if the quiz is three weeks out, that's three weeks of data collection we could be doing and linking we could be doing in the meantime. So I just want to make sure we're all in agreement about whether this should go through so we have the chance to collect that data and use it or whether we should actually be scrapping this completely. Chris, what's your thought on release date? Um, I know you want copy. And I know I can't help with copy today, unfortunately, because I'm interviewing people like the whole day. Yeah, so I think there's um there's two layers to this, but the first one really is uh, I don't want to create too much confusion with multiple calls to action on the homepage once we uh, we sort of define these funnels. Um, I think that's the main thing I'm trying to call out here. So I think um, what we have so far is the working prototype. The intention is to get that up as soon as possible. Really, we're just waiting for content now for uh, the segments that we want to put in place and um, and a few little refinements. So 
Uh, I could switch to my screen and show you that. It'll probably lead on to it. Um, let me show you. Oh, sure. The other thing to call out there is that there's two changes that are incorporated in the same PR. One is the footer, and one is those multiple callouts. So it might be that we should be pushing the footer and holding the rest of it, depending what we. Think. Exactly. So maybe I. Um, uh, so this, I guess, it, this is kind of on the radar, but it was further out in my um, my periphery at the moment. So I hadn't really considered it in the scheme of where we're going with the uh, with the, the quiz side of things. So. Um, I think what I need to do is, as a stage two is now look at what we've currently got with the, the quiz update. So I'll show you like we've got this um, this new section here essentially, which will basically have the, the content sections in. Um, and what I want to be careful with is that we don't uh, end up creating too many more calls to action um, across the uh, across the homepage as well. So if we have these, these extra extra pieces, whether if it makes sense for them to live down there, if it, then I absolutely still think we should put them there. Um, uh, it, I just need to consider that first to see whether that really uh, is the best, uh, best way to do this. Um, then what else we got? Jessica, you got a question? Um, I was just wondering if, if that take a closer look section is at the bottom of, the, is that actually at the bottom of the page, just above the footer? Is that where that's going to be? Where is I that can't be? tell from this image, but um, I don't want to make any decisions on the fly without really considering this through. So I think it's best if I just take this off after and look at the two uh, the two things um, in parallel now and see where what we're trying to link to. Because it, it might be that actually what you're trying to say here um, doesn't really have a home within the quiz anyway, and it might be best to have some calls to action. Um, what I propose for the homepage thing is anyway, it's going to be the primary action and then the first section so that will basically be, you'll, you'll, you'll go straight into this regardless of wherever you scroll to. And then once you get into the explainer, which is essentially the new learn more section, um, then we can have the opportunity to link out to other stuff. Um, another piece down the line is actually removing this implementation section and consolidating that with an, uh, a new install area as well. Um, so that will also clean up some of, uh, some of this noise and all these different actions. So, um, it's just, it's best to like keep a handle, I suppose, on what's going on with uh, with all these new changes, so we can actually be consistent with what we're trying to achieve with it. And that's the only thing I can do. So, uh, the, like quiz wise, like if we're saying we're going to put this in, um, this is my current to do list uh, for what can be done this um, this week, and I think this is completely achievable. Um, I just need to uh, make sure that the dependents that I'll, I'll, I'll have some asks across the team to make sure we can actually fill these pieces in. Um, so. Um, um, on my roadmap, we can hit that target this week, but uh, it's just obviously um, it's, uh, we need to come around and review this and make sure it's all right. So I think it's best to give it a little bit more time because uh, some people will obviously have some input that I need to maybe consider. Um, so Terry, did, I'm sorry I didn't really fully answer your question there, but let me consider that today and then come back to you with a better action, answer so that um, we can decide what's best and if it is part of like I, even if it's merging some pieces for now and then pulling that in that's that might be the best better option okay yeah the, the I just want to be conscientious of the or be conscious of you know Molly's ask for us to think about hot fixes as we're thinking about what's the real perfect end game like do the hot fixes the white paper we've decided is out of date, not the most important resource. We don't have anything clear from this page to proto school at all. So just if it's, if we're talking about a longer term change to make the ultimate decision, like, and I'm not hurting you, then I vote we do it. Cause then we can also track the clicks and see who's going to the, the white paper versus proto school versus Fox or whatever. So, um, but you know, if this is a week, fine. If it's longer than that, I feel like we should just go ahead. Um, but I'm happy to separate out, like separate out the footer from whatever. Terry, can I can I clarify? Um, yeah. Um, so these three links, the set of three links, is designed to replace the read the white paper button that lives on the web on the homepage right now, right? Yes, it's above the implementations. Okay. Okay. Um, I may may I suggest that. Um, that we get that we get protocol into the footer ASAP no matter what even if we have to split it into a separate PR just just because I mean that's not going to have an effect on anything um, other than letting people know where protocol is um, 
Chris, I'm sort of leaning. I don't know how you feel. And, and like you said, you know, I don't want to rush to a decision. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to lean, you know, looking through your scroll, through your prototype, that there's a fair amount of visual space between the quiz items um, and those three buttons that, that I don't feel that that worries me that much. But I mean, obviously, that's just completely a matter of opinion. So that was my two cents. I know Eric and Molly, you both have your hands raised. Yeah. Um, again, once we all put all the pieces together, then you can really understand how this feels. And I think obviously simplicity is the primary action here is to create, uh, if we can um, make it easier for people to make decisions, then uh, less is more. So that's my my, my, my default operation here. So uh, I think all these things are okay to be on there. It's just they have to have a, a, a bit more of a better narrative because just throwing things on now from um, for the purpose of doing so won't, won't add in any value to what we're trying to achieve. Um, and also with terms, terms of metrics, I'm also setting up a new profile. So we're looking to track things through. Um, that will also change very soon once we've merged these things, things in. So um, that's something to be aware of if we like start tracking on one profile and we'll have to, I'll have to make sure that everyone's aware of that date when that switches over so that we, we can add those numbers up. Can we at least, can we at least get proto school in the photo sooner rather than later though? Cause yeah. that's not going to affect any of the larger discussion. And I don't know, Terry, if you, Terry, do you want to actually split that in the two PRs, maybe just for the sake of getting the proto school stuff off of, off of there, the, the photo stuff off of there? I can, or I can wait till tomorrow. So Chris has a chance to, to look at the other stuff in case it becomes unnecessary, but let's hear what Molly has to say before we make a call on that. I'm very happy to take ownership of that and finish the PR off and stuff if you want, because um, if that's easier for everyone. Um, but yeah, I want your input so that I can, we can make the right decisions. Um, do you have a question, Molly? Or did I miss you? Eric had a hand before me. Okay, Eric. Hello. I, yeah, I've been out of touch with, the, not with everything, but with uh, this uh, Proto School ad to the home page. I just want to, it sounds like you're aware of it. <laughs> Like Chris, like you were just saying, um, the potential implications. Uh, like if we're doing this in nearly in tandem with the other changes to the homepage, you know, we should definitely be aware of the implications for you know what that does to our um, test because the the accordions were, as I understand, that's a test, a couple weeks or something, and then it it goes away. Um, and if, if there's any overlap in, I mean, it feels to me like there is overlap in content like the proto school. We can't hear you anymore, Eric, you're frozen. Based on other people's faces, I'd assume I'm the, not the only one with this problem. Yep, all right, it's locked up. Um, actually, I think Eric may have misunderstood the test thing. Um, so I feel like this may live on for a bit longer. Uh, that's why I'm trying to make sure we get the right. Oh, Jessica's also frozen. Nope. <laughs> nope, she's back. Okay. Um, but yeah, I I'm feel just like. Gonna yeah. Sway so you know I'm still here. Yeah, everybody, pretend you're on a boat. Um, so. All right. Um, maybe when Eric comes back, he can he can continue making his point, or we can we can discuss that topic a little more. Um, my meta point is, uh, I want to be able to see metrics from this change, which means that I would like there to be baseline metrics before before we start making changes. Um, even if that is cool, we're going to instrument this button for like two days, and then we're going to see how much how many clicks this buttons get the day after. Like some basic basic stuff like that where we're able to not just quantify what happens to the new version of the site, but how, how our changes affect it. Um, in my ideal world, if we were making like really strongly based changes to this website from a, a solid foundation, we'd be running things like A-B tests where um, we would take segments of the population and we would push them through the different versions of things and um, be actually like running um, Production, productionizable experiments, but um, given how out of date our website is, I don't think that's necessary. I think that'll add a lot of extra overhead and work, um, and I don't want to block all of this work on that. Um, but I want us to get to a place where that's really easy for us, where we have those baselines. Um, and and the thing, Chris, that you mentioned that I was most worried about was 
hey, we're going to start be start collecting metrics on different profiles where those metrics might become harder to interpret. Um, that concerns me. Let's definitely not get to a state where we're like switching metrics collection to like multiple different Google Analytics profiles such that we're going to have a really hard time understanding what people do in the system. Yeah. Um, I think having a week of three buttons across and then switching to accordions, that doesn't worry me quite as much um, because I don't think that the people who are coming to our website are coming back on a weekly basis. And so um, I think it being different is not going to freak people out. Um, I'm most worried about being able to collect useful analytics from it. And I, I like both sets of changes. And so I would love to see a way for them to coexist this together. And I, I generally wouldn't block unless it's going to muddy our metrics. Yeah. Um, and just to clarify on that, the whole reason and the premise why I've decided to set up a new profile is because the current metrics are skewed and we can't actually measure against that with uh, reliability. So um, I definitely have all of that in mind. And I think uh, it's the intention of all of these changes are uh, first to get some big, good baselines that we can then set our benchmarks from. And then the, the next pieces will be to make sure that we've got uh, some levels and some good decisions that we can actually operate against very quickly and implement things in a, a bit more of an AB fashion. But looking at the general metrics, I don't think we have enough um, high volume at this point to kind of create big conclusions from that information. So it may have to, these tests may have to run over a period of time or we may have to run some ads to kind of push people in and do this sort of thing. So uh, there's some more intelligent stuff I think we can do maybe once we've got the, the furniture in the right place. Um, and then we have to put our hypothesis down and uh, say like, what we're trying to learn from it so yeah definitely definitely keen to do more of these uh new like, experiments and um, that's that's the main uh, main driver for all of this um, just to, just to clarify um you know I, it's not the accordions versus the three buttons we're not testing them against each other that's just sort of new furniture on the page um you know what we're going to do with the accordions in the long term is sort of is 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 what we're going to be iterating on um so it's not one or the other so so but you know, molly you have a really good point about getting good baseline metrics set up i don't feel that we need to have you know like a couple of weeks of baseline metrics with neither the three buttons nor the accordions in order to get good data that was all but it's just yeah it's part of a much larger picture i'm i'm cognizant we've only got 10 more minutes and i know eric you had your hand up do you want to you know, chip in and and then maybe we can move on all right it sounds like you went down the path that I was going to go down. Like, yeah, that we should really be aware of these two, uh, you know, launching them, you know, in a smart way. Um, because I think the accordions really do, you know, they they will drive people to the proto school material. They, sh you know, and if, and if they aren't, um, we should take a look, another look at the content that we're putting into there. Um, but at the end of the day. You know, I mean, IPFS.io, the, the landing page is pretty dang tall um, and it needs to be it needs to be addressed down the line, um, you know, not necessarily in this quarter, but maybe the next. I think uh, as we see, you know, it's, it's hard to not change it, but uh, it's also hard to uh, not make it the Winchester mansion of, of landing pages, you know, we're at adding. Um, just adding and adding. So, like you said. So, I'm not clear on the outcome of this discussion. Are we saying that, let's say tomorrow we're going to merge at least the Flutter stuff, and Chris is going to let me know later today whether he has a plan that will happen this week that will include links to Proto School or whether we should merge this thing in the meantime? Any non-conflict pieces, I will put in straight away today. Um, any pieces of contention that we want to discuss further, I'll bring up with you separately. Okay. Um, Thanks. And the only thing that I would do before merging it is there's some like spacing issues. That, so that's the only thing that I would do. If we decide we're doing this, then we just need to do a tiny bit of CSS on it to fix that. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Right. Let's, let's carry on. Um, uh, content audit. Um, Portia? Okay, unmuted. <laughs> um, I was out sick last week. Uh, we did not have the meeting, but we will have a content audit meeting this week. And just quickly letting everyone know that August 21st is my last day here. And so it would be really nice for us to like try to wrap this up before I leave. Um, 
you know, obviously we're, we're awfully, awfully sad to see you go. Um, we hope that whatever it is that you're moving on to is completely amazing and, and you know, that you'll stay in touch with all of us. And um, you know, I'll, I'll wrap up um, the content audit work with, you know, like what you, you'll, you'll, as you said, you're scheduling a meeting to go over um, your results, um, at least until we get the stocks person in. Um, I'll keep rolling along with doing some assessment and analysis and um, next steps on the content audit as a whole. So, um, so again, you know, huge thanks. Um, everybody, everybody pull off mute and give her a hand. <laughs> oh, come on. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, thank you, everyone. The meeting is um, scheduled right after our internal meeting on Thursday. So the invite has already been sent out. We, there's, yeah. Then it's a conflict with Proto School, our community call for Proto School. Okay, um, we can take this offline, and I can find an alternative date. Yeah. Also, with Eric and his and his daughter's move, um, you know, maybe it's some, if it's something we can do Wednesday or Friday. I think it's probably best for everybody to try to try to get us in. But yeah, okay. thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Running in super quickly, Docs platform features inventory. We're still accumulating features on a rolling basis. You know, I added stuff to to the documents last week, but um, you know, frankly, full attention work is paused for the moment um, because we're all doing other other more um, more time sensitive things, including the spike that um, Chris is doing in the Docs platform framework, uh, implementation of the front page quiz, hiring, so on and so forth. Um, Chris, you want to talk about the DocuSource thing? Yeah, I've just sketched that in now because I say um, we've still got some things to wrap up on the quiz. So I feel like it's a good use of time while, while that is going through uh, the last final stages that I can then start to work on some of the migration of the documentation into some of the platforms. So DocuSaurus are probably the first primary target. So I'll see how. Um, at first, I'll select a, a subset of information that we're going to use as a spike. And then I, I'll start to see um, what we can pull together for that. Um, that's the most exciting piece. <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll um, obviously by Thursday, we'll uh, have more sketched out and hopefully in process. So by Friday, I'd like to have at least uh, a working version with some information and a, uh, and a search uh, sort of prizing that. <clears throat> Great. Um, moving along because we're so short on time. Um, interviews are ongoing for the documentation specialist. I've got three today, two um, later on in the week. Um, we did um, put a, a featured posting on the Write the Docs job, job Board, which had strong, strong um, impact. Good response. We're working on that. Um, we will be getting some help from Danielle and her team. Um, so if you're part of the hiring panel, um, then you'll get an invite to a meeting. If not, um, hit me up if you want to get more involved because you know, we more hands always make lighter work. Would still appreciate um, any sharing of the job post with your social networks. The link is there. That shows up. That's a referral link via, um, that, that we can track to that unique URL. Um, if you have any social networks that you would like to continue or newly spread that out to, that would be amazing. Um, moving on, uh, there's a rough draft in the link for those goal-based personae. Um, the next steps on that is going to be socializing internally and then discussing with the community. Um, I need to give some thought as to how we're actually going to going to socialize this with the wider community. Um, it may just be a matter um, as a starting point of soliciting some discussion on discuss.ipfs.io um, to just get some open feedback on that um, and then perhaps try to get um, a couple of, you know, depending on what we hear and, and the strength of the response, maybe get some user interviews as well um, with folks who may align with those core goals. Um, it's a rough draft. Um, a lot of this is based on the stuff that I got both out of prior art that was done about a year ago. There was a, a research project done by a contractor here who was um, um, tasked with trying um, to, to basically get, sorry, wasps, overarching, um, just overarching um, themes within the documentation as it stood, um, both the documentation, the forums, and so forth. Um, so a lot of it pulls from that, and then just a lot of the things that I've been seeing on the forums and so forth. Um, definitely would appreciate some feedback on that. We probably ought to have a standalone meeting to discuss that um, 
more collaboratively. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll work on getting that on the books, um, but at least the rough draft of that is done. Um, and then it sounds like the, um, you know, and we did wrap up a few more hot fixes over the course of the week. We are starting to run out of the easier ones to address, which is a good thing. Um, but that does mean that the the ones that are remaining are starting to be more involved and you know, we are lacking bandwidth in favor of further progress on some of our OKR to-do list items. Um, so you know, obviously if there is the opportunity for anybody to take on any of these, anything labeled OKR hotfix in our repo, that's fantastic. I mean, it shouldn't detract from our primary items for which we're each each responsible, but um, do keep in mind that those items are out there should you come up with any magical free time. Um, regarding the front page quiz, is there anything else that, that we need to talk through on that? You, Chris, you have some, some notes here. Uh, conscious of time, but um, quickly, it's just really cool for uh, asking you guys to help out and sort of give me the first piece of content that you want to have in each section. Um, there is one open thing around how we're we going to do the feedback form. Um, I obviously it's a serverless static website and we don't have any uh, backend for, for actually posting and receiving emails. So we either have to use a third party, um, like a woo form style thing to send and post that information if we're going to do it that way, or we just push it out to an email and uh, have a request for people to email us that way. So, or it could be an issue queue. So I think we, um, either I bring this up with whoever's interested one-on-one -on -one, or I'll just come up with a proposal and, and give me a thumbs up. <laughs> um, and Molly you quickly mentioned that clicks and such. Uh, yep, so that's that'll be part of um, just finalizing this this week is getting the analytics profiles connected up and then with all the individual links as well. So um, trying to make sure that we can define a story from homepage to individual uh, curiosity on the accordions and then from action to action point. Um, so then we can build up that. Program. And that's also, an, that's also an issue 207. So we can accumulate our, um, our desired metrics in 207. Chris, I think I just muted you for about a second and a half. I'm sorry. I don't know. I didn't know you had that power. What? <laughs> Just tell me to shut up. It's fine. Let's go. I didn't know I had that power either. I'm really sorry. Hint, hint. It's okay. We're on the mark. Time out. So <laughs> let's uh, let's let's land land this plane. Um, does uh, Does anyone else have anything that they want to add before we call it a wrap? Uh, our one proto school thing, Diego and I have been doing a lot of pairing and working through more of the event metrics in Countly. So. The stuff that's already active is stuff like page views and the stuff we're working on now is like, how many times did you have to reset the code or did you submit failed code compared to how many times you actually passed the lesson? Next up is like, did you log in that up's tutorial was passed? So stuff like that is what we're working through at the moment. So that's going to give us a lot of better tracking capabilities. We're doing all this stuff under the hood, but then we also need to learn our way around the dashboard more to see how detailed we can get in reports it does itself versus what's going to end up being manual. Bye, Molly. Oh, you're on mute, Jessica. I think, yeah, great. Now I've muted myself too. Epic. Um, is there any, anything else that we want to keep within the boundaries of this meeting before we stop recording and call it our, our next Monday meeting? All right. Um, well, thank you so much, everybody. Eric, for Eric, Eric has oh. a uh, oh, oh, I thought you were just waving. Sorry. I know. It was, it was funny timing. Um, do we want to ha have a chat uh, um, to, about hashing through uh, what, you know, the overlap, potential overlap, and making sure we get the most bang for our buck out of the accordions and or the, you know, the proto school section? Yeah, I feel um, like that's what you could do that in GitHub if you want. <laughs> yeah. Um, if anyone's around, um, then we could, it's a half hour call, we can just grab that after this or later today. Um, who, if, you're, okay. if you want to join in. Cool. I've, I've got a call right after this and I'm, I'm interviewing folks all day, but if, um, but please, please ping me with, um, 
questions you know about that or about content or thoughts if there's any way that i can weigh myself in we're very happy to just take that uh, take that responsibility if you it's easier for you in the meantime i, I mean i'd love i'd love to help i just feel like i'm kind of useless today because i'm like in all these meetings so that's all good and uh, I, I need to be i think it would be i need to have a sync like with with chris at least anyway Okay. okay well, words. if you all, if you all start having a great discussion, ping me and I'll try to join you. So, <laughs> thank you very much, everybody. Terry, thanks for uploading the recording, um, and we look forward to speaking with everybody next week. Cheers, all. <laughs>